Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Can we write expressions on connection managers? If yes, where would you need to do that? Or where exactly you need to perform or write the expressions on the connection manager? So let's go to SSDT and uh, try to understand what are connection managers. If we see here, these are the connection man managers. This window has connection managers. We can create connections to SQL Server databases. We can create connection to Oracle. We can create a, a file a connection manager. We can create XML and all different types of a, a connection managers here. So you right click here, you say new connection and that's how you select uh, uh, your connection manager type and then uh, you know provide the required information and uh, create the connection manager. So now once the connection manager is created, what we do? It, it, it does connect to the SQL Server database or Oracle or it uh, create, uh, you know, it uh, mm, connect to the file and that's where we load the data uh, or extract the data. Uh, in this scenario, why do we use or why we need to write expressions? Uh, first thing, we, we can write expressions on connection managers. We can also write connection uh, expressions on variables. So any properties we have in the SSIS package, there are pretty much chances we can write expression on that property. In the connection manager, if I'm going here in, uh, and right click here and go to properties, I will see expressions here. The expression tab is here. So what I'm doing in this package, I'm creating a logging. So I'm creating a logging for SQL Server profiler type and it is going to create a trace file. So every time the package run it append or actually in this case actually it overwrite the data to the trace file. What I want to do I want to create a file with date time on each of the execution so it will be unique file or log file on each of the execution. In those cases if I will make the connection to some file it's not going to change the file name so I can't really create a new file. So I, I have to have used expressions and build my connection string. So I go to pr uh, properties, then go to expressions, and then go to connection string, and then uh, here go to expressions. Here I will build uh, the expressions uh, with the folder path uh, and uh, with the file name I want, and then I will add the date time to it, uh, and uh, that's how I will build the entire string. So next time when the package will run, uh, it will take uh, the value what expressions are going to return and use that in the connection string of that connection manager. I have written uh, for one of them and I'm going to show you how they look like. So in this case, we have connection string. If we click here, that's how it look like. So I have used the variable uh, for the folder path. I have used the package name. That will be the name of the log file. And then I have put the date, time, date time to it and then added the extension. So this is one need. Sometimes we read the data from a SQL Server table and then run the package and want to create Excel file or we want to create a flat file or XML file. In those cases, every time we run those uh, um, packages, what we want to do on each of execution, we want to create a file with the date time. This is the same example, like the same way I did in log file. You can do the same way to create uh, that file. In Excel, it will it will be a little tricky. You have to copy your template or, or uh, uh, the file you have created the very first time and then add the date time to it. But in for uh, flat file and for uh, X, XML file, you can go ahead and do it. Now, also the expressions can be written on the, these connection which are SQL Server or any other server or relation databases. If uh, I'm using the variable here for the server name and, and uh, for the database name, I can go and uh, change or use those variables in the, in, uh, in the uh, expressions uh, for connection manager. And what will happen, uh, I will have configuration uh, set up for those variables and then uh, th those will read the values uh, from configuration for each of the environment wherever the package is deployed and then uh, it, the connection manager will use the values of those variables. So let me show you how I can do it. Go to connection manager, properties, then we go to expressions and here I can pass the entire connection string that I can build by using the variables like initial catalog and the server name or I can uh, provide the separate variables for each of them. So I can server name and here in expressions, I can uh, pass the uh, value of a variable and that will be used for our uh, server name. And uh, mostly 
if we are using uh, two variables we can build our whole comp whole uh, connection string by using those uh, server name and initial catalog so to uh, go further or just uh, shorten this out uh, yes we can write a um, expression on connection manager on any of them and uh, we have the uh, different type I showed you you have SQL server um, OLEDB connection manager I showed you I, I showed you flat file and the same way you can have other connection manager and uh, they, we have to have find the properties where expressions can be written and yes uh, uh, we can write it and I told you the reasons why we do that thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video